James, I'm really excited to catch up with you and learn a little bit about Spiron's approach to Open RAN. So to start with, we're finally seeing some of these networks being deployed at scale and supporting customers in the real world. So maybe just take me through what some of the main benefits service providers are getting from this new architecture. Well, first, uh, Sean, multi-vendor interoperability is really the, the cornerstone of the ORAN specifications and ORAN Alliance. That gives the operators the ability to, to mix and match different network components, RAN components, and to be able to not only lower cost because uh, multi-vendor operability increases competition with lower cost, but it, it basically widens the ecosystem of participating vendors in those RAN elements. And that enables more companies to be able to provide solutions to the service operators. So they can meet, offer more services, they can have uh, better um, monetization opportunities, and so forth. So the, the future looks bright. So technological and business case benefits, but there's got to be new challenges. I think uh, system integration and added complexity are the ones I hear the most about, but what's your point of view on it? Yeah, I mean, uh, multi-vendor interoperability, first and foremost, these types of tests that ORAN is um, really mandating, they've never been done before in cellular communications. So uh, a big part of being able to test multi-vendor interoperability it's not just the interfaces, it's the functionality of each individual block, of adjacent blocks, and finally end-to-end. -end. If you can, if operators, uh, network infrastructure manufacturers, chipset manufacturers, if they can test uh, ORAN in these sorts of configurations, then the service operators can deliver those types of services and functionality to their, to their customer base. All right, so when you're putting together a RAN kit with multiple vendors, hardware and software, what does that test process look like compared to what we would think of with a proprietary single vendor RAN implementation? Uh, that's a good question because, uh, as I mentioned, these types of tests weren't really standardized or really done before. A big part of that is emulation. So if you're testing one individual uh, RAN element, ORAN element, say the RU, then you have to emulate the RF channel, the UE, as well as the DUCU and the core network. Lots, lots of different um, things that you have to emulate. And you don't emulate them not only in, in terms of the interfaces work, but, but at scale and at real world performance. And, and that's what Spiron um, brings to the table. Our core, we have a core competence and real-time emulation where our functional elements can be swapped in swapped out depending on the operator or the customer the customer's need okay and james how do you all take advantage of uh, automation processes when you get into these new types of test environments well that's a good question so as you have all these different uh, emulation components um, think about how difficult it can be to configure and operate each one of those they all have to work together in order for the, the customer to deliver, to, to realize the benefit. First and foremost, what Spiron offers is what we call a single pane of glass uh, user interface. It configures each one of those network elements depending on the type of test that you want, that you want to deliver and, or that you're, what you're testing for. And then once you're able to do that, you know, it saves the configurations that you need so you don't have to manually figure out what settings for each one of those uh, emulator and test elements provides, then we provide an API. And then once automation is layered on, then the tests are repeatable. And as new firmware uh, updates, uh, the, the pace of innovation now in terms of um, updates, features, and functions, you know, automation is critical. And if, if customers, uh, customers need automation to be able to stay on top of these, these changes and to be able to deliver those services uh, to the customers, basically shorter time to market. Okay, so that's, I think, the key piece, right? If you can replicate these test processes and get live network showing real value to the operator faster, obviously a win yeah, for everyone. Yeah, exactly. Getting that performance in the lab before it's deployed and the co operators having confidence that they can deliver not only at part with single vendor solutions, but actually exceed those capabilities in terms of features and functions. That's really the goal. 
and that's what that's what Spirit brings to the uh, to the ORAN ecosystem. Excellent, James. I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, share your perspective with our audience. Yeah, thanks, Sean. I appreciate it. Thank you.